So welcome back to the part 2 of this uh, Ford Fiesta uh, timing belt replacement. So here we go. <coughs> I'll just gonna show you how to uh, put the the special tools, how to set it up. So the camshaft for intake and exhaust camshaft. There is a, a camshaft holder that you have to. First, you're gonna turn the crankshaft clockwise until it's set it up to 11 o'clock, the timing pin. So, once you set it up the, the timing mark uh, to 11 o'clock um, position, um, then uh, the first thing you have to do is to put the the crankshaft pin the crankshaft pin located on the right hand side of the engine which is this way here so remove the plug there's a plug bolt in here so remove the plug insert the crankshaft pin uh, special tools once you did that you turn slowly the crankshaft clockwise until it hits to the pin once it stop that's it and then you have to set up the crankshaft uh, the camshaft uh, holder which is uh, this one here so once you set it up the, cram the camshaft uh, sprocket holder um, you have to remove the starter motor here but I didn't do that way instead I put I put uh, a flat screwdriver to the <coughs> flywheel ring gear over here which is uh, very accessible to just uh, minimize your time spending the reason for this flywheel locking tools is just only to to undo the the crankshaft pulley bolt here <clears throat> because when you once you turn it to anti-clockwise the crankshaft will gonna turn <coughs> will gonna turn to clock anti-clockwise position because there is no lock over there once you lock that flywheel pin over there then you can undo the bolt here on uh, the crankshaft pulley this, this particular engine uh, don't have a keyway so there is no keyway on this pulley and on the and on the crankshaft so that's why you need you need these special tools to to uh, do the timing belt re uh, replacement because once once you don't have this then uh, it might get into a trouble might miss the, the timing you maybe miss the timing or um, you will damage the engine so uh, we are now freely to remove the the timing belt and uh, replace it with the new one <coughs> this is the main, the main the main thing over here that's why we always recommend together with the water pump it's because the water pump you cannot remove the water pump alone without removing the timing belt again it's always recommended to replace the water pump uh, when replacing the timing belt wrong in the next few months then the customer will gonna come back and complain Poland Lake and then when you found out that the water pumps leaking then you have to remove it again uh, it could be more expensive for the customer uh, to redo it again that's why we always recommend to replace the water pump when replacing the timing belt so yeah we're going to remove the timing the water pump now and then replace it with the new one 
we have already a part we have already a parts over here this is a timing belt kit with a water pump um, so we already uh, replaced the timing belt we uh, taken off the um, camshaft sprocket uh, locking tools uh, procedure how to do it so yeah before while while this bracket uh, locking tools is still here uh, fit the fit your uh, timing belt with your tensioner and uh, when all the teeth are properly uh, seated to this bracket uh, gears then uh, tight the tensioner bolt and release the pin so after uh, fitting back the lower timing belt cover um, uh, fit the crankshaft uh, pulley and uh, lock the flywheel again flywheel ring gear making sure that the crankshaft is touch, touching against the uh, crankshaft uh, locking pin when when it's all seated uh, fit the new uh, crankshaft uh, pulley bolt and tighten it 40 newton meter uh, next one is 90 degrees so make it sure that all the locks are in uh, locking pin are in place and tight it into 90 degrees remove the the flywheel locking pin and uh, remove the the crankshaft uh, uh, locking pin here and uh, turn the crankshaft clockwise slowly into one and three fourth turn till it goes to 11 o'clock sure that this timing mark here is in 11 o'clock it's supposed to be like this one here once it's 11 o'clock uh, put the locking pin for the crankshaft again and turn it slowly until hit until stop and check again the the timing mark here it should be in the 12 o'clock once it once it is uh, 12 o'clock then that's it that's the right timing so make it sure that it's in the 12 o'clock if it is not then you have to redo it again so yeah once it's all seated properly again the crankshaft locking pin there and you're good to go so thanks very much for watching hope do you learn this video and if you do then give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel if you haven't yet and uh, see you next time